10 cars from four different manufacturers will fight it out for overall victory at the 2024 Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona. In this video, I'll take a brief look over every GTP entry, telling you about their drivers, their records at the race, and their key strengths and weaknesses that could make all the difference. Wheel and Engineering Cadillac Racing will lead the field to green after Pipo Durrani set a new outright lap record in last weekend's qualifying session, and Durrani will share the 31 car with Jack Aitken and Tom Blomqvist, making up the only three-driver lineup in the class. Blomqvist is the only one of last year's winners to return to the top class in 2024, after his former team, Maya Shank Racing, fell off the grid over the off-season. Action Express, the team who runs the car, have three wins at the race and last triumphed in 2018, but won last season's overall IMSA championship. Cadillac Racing, which is run by Chip Ganassi Racing, complete a front-row lockout for Cadillac. Ganassi the most successful team in the race's history, with six overall wins, but their last win came all the way back in 2015. After running two cars the last couple of years, they're focusing around a single entry in 2024 for Sebastian Bourdais, Renger van der Zander, Scott Dixon and Alex Pillow. Ganassi showed the long run pace and reliability to win last year. Can they put it all together this time around? Porsche Penske Motorsports had a disastrous race last year but return in 2024 as IMSA's form team, having won two of the last three races in 2023. The team have done a minor reshuffle on the driver front for this year. In car six is Matthew Yamane, Nick Tandy, Kevin Estra and Lawrence Vantor, and in car seven are Dane Cameron, Felipe Nazar, Matt Campbell and Joseph Newgarden. The big question mark hanging over Porsche is that they are yet to have a reliable run through a 24-hour race with the 963, something which must change if there's a standard chance of getting to victory lane. BMW M Team RLL also struggled last year, and like Porsche have returned with improved pace and a shuffled driver lineup for their two-car effort. Car 24 features Philip Eng, Jesse Krohn, Augusto Farfus and Dries Vantor, and car 25, Connor Di Filippi, Nick Yellily, Maxime Martin and Rene Rast. The BMW looked especially strong on the straights in testing, which always comes in handy at Daytona. Wayne Taylor racing with Andretti, the team everyone is looking at, having finished in the top two nine times in the last 11 years, including taking four wins. For 2024, they've expanded up to two Acuras, in car 10 are Philippe Albuquerque, Ricky Taylor, Brendan Hartley and Marcus Ericsson, whilst in number 40 are Louis Delatraz, Jordan Taylor, Colton Herta and Jensen Button. JDC Miller Motorsports are running a customer Porsche, the number 85 banana boat, nicknamed after its bright yellow livery. The team finished on the podium the last time they raced in the top class back in 2022 and have a history of upset triumphs of endurance races, having won the 12 hours of Sebring in 2021. Timon van der Helm, Richard Westbrook, Phil Hansen and Ben Keating are the drivers, with Keating becoming the first amateur driver to race in the GTP class, and also the only driver pulling double duty at this year's race, as he is also racing for United Autosports in LMP2 and Proton Competition round out the GTP grid, with another customer Porsche 963. This is the first time Proton are racing in the top class, but they have had plenty of Daytona success with wins in both the LMP2 and GTD Pro classes last year. Gian Maria Bruni, Neil Yarni, Roman Demar and Alessio Picariello form their driver quartet. The challenge for Proton is going to be making up for lost track time, they missed the first practice session as the car was still being assembled, they missed qualifying after an accident, and DeMar hasn't driven it at all yet as he was at the Dakar rally last weekend. The race gets underway at 1.40pm local on Saturday the 27th of January, that's 18.40 UTC, 
and if you'd like to find out more about the cars they'll be driving, I've got a video all about the LMDH category on my channel. Who do you think will win the Rolex 24? Please let me know in the comments below, and whilst you're down there why not press that like button and subscribe to the channel, it really helps me out.